child, girl. I know y'all heard about this. Girl, it's always some that Popeyes. Girl, no, I have not went to Popeyes. I don't know. Um, this is my second week of not eating chicken. Um, first week I started off not eating meat, but now I'm just I'm okay with eating fish and shrimp, but that's about it. Um, so we will see what my journey goes with this. But yeah, I want to stay away from chicken and I just want to stay away from meat just because. Um, so Popeye workers who body slammed a customer in the restaurant uh, is arrested. Okay. And did y'all hear they were saying, you know, the African American, I don't know how true this is. It's just what I heard. Okay. We just started consuming meat back like in the 1600s before we, I don't know. Let me just stop repeating what somebody else told me, but that's not the reason for me to stop eating meat. I just, it just seems so, I don't know. It just it's starting to seem toxic to me. And uh, anyway, let's go to this Popeye's chicken because I heard it's delicious, all right? So I guess everybody's at this um, Popeye's chicken, and this is the nasty video. I guess we read there in a little bit, but let's go here. I know y'all seen this video. I did. I can't play the whole thing because this man... You know, he gets so heated and so in his feelings and over dramatic with emotions. I don't know if she said something about the N-word. If she did, you know, protocol, you, you got to restrain yourself. People are saying he's just and he's right for putting his hands on her. I don't see that being. No, I don't, I don't think you should put your hands on anybody. I've always taken that stand. And I know a lot of people especially out here they feel like because you talk reckless you deserve a retaliation of physical violence and I'm so against that and I don't think that's called for that I think you gotta re self-control restrain your physical okay if you can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them with words then leave it alone okay press charges record their butt get embarrass them or something but you don't put your hands on somebody else and you don't take somebody else's life i'm i'm so who are you no i'm so against that so anyway i'm gonna play it but it gets so heated i'm not gonna play the whole thing he runs out and follow this lady as she's leaving a store and he picks her up and he body slams her and he's continued to charge to this girl okay do y'all know people have um, rest in peace over this Popeye's chicken? You know, it, shit. I'm lost to words, but um, I'm going to play a little bit. Go ahead. <laughs> wow, hold on. So you see the co-worker's trying to pull him away. He runs from them, fights for them. And he still want confrontation with this lady, okay? Which is a customer. And I know some of y'all don't think customers is anything. But you are representing an establishment. You know, get her number. <laughs> All right? Meet up. Do what y'all got to do outside of this. And this is a woman, okay? You know, say, can I talk to your husband? I want some beef with your husband. But, um, Wow. I ain't going to say too much, okay? I ain't here for it. I tell you that, but that's all I'm going to say. But let's go here. All these people here. And nobody can stop this man. Outrageous. He can't be stopped. He's unstoppable. Where? See, I know y'all don't like calling the cops, but I told y'all I'm a cop caller. Okay? Call the cops! <laughs> I know y'all not. Listen, I'm not going to say my opinion because it's not going to be liked. And I don't care about being liked. Honestly, I really don't. But um, I don't like confrontation. I'm not going to go back and forth with nobody and debate on nobody about my feelings <laughs> and how I feel, period. That's just the thing. But uh, let's go down here and let's read the article. It says the Popeye's worker 
who is seen body slamming a woman outside the restaurant in Tennessee has been arrested. According to the Daily Mail, Mr. Man, 29, was charged with a uh, felony. You see all that. After allegedly um, putting them paws on the customer, Deborah. In the video, you can see the two ongoing back and forth, apparently over an order. Some witness say that um, Hughes, the guy, got angry after the girl disrespected him multiple times and even called him the N-word. However, um, Rocky Law Firm, which is representing the girl, 55, said uh, she did not use the racial slur while trying to, um, I guess, pursue her order. It was noted that she had eaten at the restaurant on Sunday and decided to come back on Tuesday after realizing she has been charged $13.11 twice for chicken tenders, corn, biscuits, and an apple pie. <laughs> just get this lady her money and just carry on because y'all don't, don't own it. It's not, listen, I worked in customer service before. Well, I I worked at Nordstrom's girl. Okay, so our policy. Look, I'm saying our, I'm not a part of the Nordstrom family anymore. But anytime anybody has a return, we would just return it. You know, as long as you got your your receipt and it's um within the days, we just return it. We're not gonna badger you about it. We're just gonna return it. That's just our policy. And um, it worked well, you know. <laughs> so um, the law firm, and I think it should be with restaurants too. I don't know. It's whatever you can do to not go into drama. The law firm says as a result of the incident, the lady was left with, oh, my God, a broken leg, nine fractures in her elbow, and six broken ribs. Now you in jail because an old lady that's 55 got smart with you, and maybe she did call you the N-word, but now you in jail, and this is going to be on your record for the rest of your life. I guess some of y'all may feel like it's worth it. That's why I'm not going to speak too much on this situation because... I ain't going back and forth with nobody, okay? I'm just here to tell the gossip what I feel about it. Ain't, it, it don't make it no good. No, it don't matter. <laughs> it's all about what y'all think anyway. Honestly, it really is. So, uh, damn, he didn't. He could have killed. Girl, I can't say that K-word. But, well, he was. I mean, it's so many issues with this. A man doing this to a woman, I got so I you know, but I like I said, I've seen comments and a lot of people are justifying his behavior, all because she did may call him the n word. I don't care if you call me the n word, you call me whatever you want to. I'm not about to get out of well, maybe that is his character. I'm not about to go there with you. You call me whatever you want. All I'm doing is block and delete. If you say to my face, I'm walking away. I'm not about to fight, <laughs> especially if I'm working at pop. I'm not about to do I know everybody don't think like me, and everybody ain't me. So it, outcomes ain't going to be the same. Um, So <sighs> I just, you know, I'm just here to report. That's all I'm going to do. I ain't going to get too much into it. I, I ain't. I ain't. <laughs> now, y'all put y'all comment sections because, you know, it's easy to really express your true a, a opinion about stuff when nobody knows who you are you know you you can speak freely you feel free to go back and forth and all that and stuff you know I don't, uh -uh. I'm good <laughs> but um I will see you guys sooner than later bye